Hey everyone, Shastad here and welcome back to another Dauntless update video. In this one we will talk about patch 0.5.14 and I'm also gonna enjoy an early morning cup of coffee. Mm -mm. The same as all of my previous update videos, you can either listen to my lovely voice or you can check the patch notes yourself in the link down below in the description. So let's start. Patch 0.5.14 uh, we're gonna finally get some new balance changes and combat changes coming to the game with a small boost coming to the chain blades, a new logging screen also bringing to the game and the autumn fox style to the in-game store. On the screen currently you can see a picture of part of the fox style. Um, I think that overall the banner looks nice. Uh, I hope there's a flair uh, also with the banner and regarding the armor and the rest, uh, I think that's just the gnasher. Wait. I don't think they're giving an armor, I think it's just gonna be the hair and the color, but I might be mistaken because if there's also an armor, it's probably gonna look like a lot like the Gnasha armor. Anyways, uh, let's keep on uh, going with the rest of the patch notes. So the old login screen is replaced with a handsome new one. I already checked the login screen guys, it's awesome. Uh, it's a lot better than the old one. Uh, it's very optimized, looks great, and overall, nice idea to the graphics design team. Uh, wait, that scar just hit me a lot. Anyways, uh, keep on moving. The chain blades will now cause an etheric explosion with every black flick special. Not just those performed at full meter. So this is a nice new damage increase to the to the chain blades. I am currently testing it in the game against the Rock Falls car, and as you can see, so I can also check the new modifier on Rock Falls car. And uh, considering I'm not a chain blades player and this is a heroic behemoth, I was able to kill him in around 8 minutes with the chain blades. So um, for me, considering all those two factors, uh, there is definitely an increase in the damage and uh, the explosions are definitely worth the change. Now, another big change is that Phoenix Labs listened to me. They actually listened to me and added a hunt modifier to the Rock Falls Karn, which I'm glad they did. Uh, they definitely made him a bit harder, not impossible to kill, not very hard, but uh, it was a change that I agree with. So, currently Rock Falls Karn has a, a heroic modifier, a second heroic modifier, excluding the standard heroic one, and it's called Shockfall. Behemoth rock attacks, shield shock, and deal bonus damage to slayers. Now, these attacks do hit for a lot. They deal tons of damage, so it's either evade them or you are screwed. Um, the, it's not a big change, uh, but it's one I agree that adds a little bit of variety to Behemoth and it's something necessary because Rock Falls Karn Heroic was as easy as the normal one since he didn't have any changes and I'm glad they just added this small little change to him even though it's it's not something new, it's not a new modifier, it's not, um, it's not a new idea, but still it's a change. I agree with this change, I find it uh, positive, so yeah, that's it. Anyways, let's keep on moving to the quality of life updates. Fix the bug that could prevent Helion from properly attacking Slayers after erupting from the ground. That's a good change, made it easier to hit and target both Charox and Fire Front Charox vents and legs. Okay, this was something that I have been asking and wanting for quite a while now because uh, you can usually not tell the difference when you are attacking the vents and the legs and uh, destroying the vents is somewhat of a priority for Fire Brand Charox or I'm glad they added it. Made improvements to make it more reliable to hit and target Behemoth Breaks. That's a good change, always positive. Uh, I would agree if they make the parts um, a little bit more separate or a way to completely be able to choose which one to destroy it, but I know that's not gonna be possible anytime soon. Fix the bug that prevents Driftstalker from dropping exotic parts. I didn't notice this one, but I'm get, I, I'm glad they fixed it, not getting the epic drops is important. Exotic one, sorry. Slank Driftstalker will now count towards the Knight's Clock, Weekly Challenge and the Dancing Shadows Daily Challenge. Great. Fix the bug where Weekly Challenges for Elemental Weapons didn't actually require the suggested element. Oh, I missed on that one. Unfortunately, Slain Heroic Rock Falls Karn will now grant the appropriate rewards. What did it grant before? Unappropriate ones? Pun joke. Slain Rock Falls Karn will now count towards the Rock Legend Daily Challenge. 
The Chainblade's backflip special will now succeed more frequently in cases where a player is under a tall behemoth like Pangar, Helian, so you can do a backflip, you can kick flip all from the tail. Hair should no longer clip through Charak or Shrek helmets when viewing a character in the style screen. Great, no buggy hair. Fix the bug in the main menu that could cause animation to linger when hovering above different submenus. Fix the bug that caused new UI elements to overlap with the private hunt button. Fix the bug that caused the new UI elements to push the guild tag outside of the HUD box. Karabakh break parts description now actually, well not actually, accurately communicate both the rarity and source of each part. Wearing the Dust Riders Bolero will no longer make you look bold. Ooh. It should make you look bold. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Fix the bug that could cause Carne Rock Falls Carn Supper height rock plates to misbehave. How the Crap, do they misbehave? Do they separate and go and dance? Fix the bug that caused the quills, quill masks to glow. Oh, but I enjoyed the quill mask glowing. The Shrek Saber special meter will now drain at correct speed, matching the drain rate of all other sorts. I didn't notice if it was draining faster or slower, if it was draining slower, I should have abused this bug, but it's fixed now, so fix the bug that prevented players from selecting a cell effect when inspecting their gear. Fix the bug that caused Quill Shot's Quill to remain red if it was staggered out of its rage state exit. I don't know if that's, uh, that was a problem or not. Fix the bug that caused max level armor to insist that it could be improved. There's always place for improvement, guys. Remember that Phoenix Labs also give us more levels to the armors. Fix the bug that caused a spooky hole to appear in Moira's face. Holes appearing on people's faces. Are we getting into a Stephen King novel here or game? Did he become a scriptwriter for this game? Hopefully not. Improved performance on the island portion of the tutorial cinematic. Great, I haven't played that one since I made the character. Slaying Naizaga will now correctly destroy all remaining Naizaga turrets. Ooh, that's something I've been asking for a while now because you kill Naizaga and the next thing, the turrets kill you. Introduce further performance improvement in Ramsgate. Great. Improve them in Ramsgate and in the hunt, guys. Come on, optimize us. We need 120 FPS with 160 and 240 Hertz monitors. Fix the bug to where shield text was cut off because of the health bar. And at the end, no issues, behemoths may occasionally lock or move in irregular patterns, fix this by slaying them. Anyways guys, this was everything for these patch notes, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you did not, drop me a comment down below with any feedback, suggestions, advice or anything else you want to share with me. Be also sure to check the other videos and guides that I am doing on my channel relating to other games as well as the music that I make. So also, check the links into the description to my Twitter, Twitch, Discord, Instagram and Patreon where you can now support me and follow me if you so much desire. Finally, of course, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in order to get notifications. Shadows try that out!